Hello everyone, so, today, this basically is I have to do a bit of recording, because, you know, I didn't feel like streaming for an hour for content, and short content is easier, and maybe uploading isn't as bad as I first thought, and I'm not as lazy as I was before, so, still no editing, but I get to spin the spectator camera, ooh, skin, skin's improved a little bit, ooh, ooh, okay, Let's get serious. So today I'm gonna basically show you some things with a concept, as maybe a uh, sort of concept of mining in space. Is it works in modded, and maybe a reason because of mod, like say a runway that you have to get concrete for for getting gravel, maybe something like that, or maybe just for fun. So a concept which I'll probably think of a might do a crazy thumbnail, but a, a new idea for space engineers. So, so. Let's give you a bit of a uh, audio, uh, audio, uh, what's the word? Description. So, the question is, how do you transport items? Connectors. Well, that would work. But what about we did it differently? What about we did it before connectors came out? What was that? What came before connectors? Some of the old players may know. It's called the Chectors, they were think. So. Ejectors and connectors, they do a bit of a similar job, do a similar sort of task of dropping out items, but why don't we use it as much? Why don't we see cool creations? Well, to be fair, the game probably couldn't handle it with its physics being a little limited of a clang, goddamn clang coming to ruin your day. But since Space Engineers is its full release and its clang's been basically banished to what a dungeon we they put him in. Okay, always pray to Clang. We have some creations to show you that may involve per se less connectors and a bit of an interesting way of transportation. Do 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 Look at that. Are you wondering what is that strange creation? Oh god, I'll show that off. You saw nothing Right. You can tell this is my working cup ball. Let's get rid of it. I hate. <laughs> so, this over here is my dump truck, as you can tell from the front. I try not to go on the right side, but the right side is exactly a copy of this side, and here's the back. I'm actually wondering if that. Yeah, okay. I'll get to the uh, thing behind me in a second. Open up, no sneak peek. So, basically, what this is here is a dump truck. So. uh it works. Oh, you know what? I might as well just put it. There you go. That's that's what you got to hope. That's what you got to look at before. There you go. I can show it off. So this uh, system works on a dual rotor. You're saying, oh, the clangs are going to do this. Well, no. The rotor. Oh, I didn't realize this thing's done. The rotor isn't actually being used here. The pistons are what's being used. So there should be no clang involved. Technically, this rotor's being used. And then this rotor's being used. Take the power off. Let me turn the power on. I didn't want the idea to be given away from the engines. So I'll take a little drive. And if I press K. Ooh, what's this? A new Space Engineers uh, thing? Organic. I may do a video on this as well. So, it drives pretty well, drives better than the thing behind me does. And, well, you can tell what it does. So, if I uh, make a copy just for sorts of things, because I never know this thing. In space, this thing will spin. This thing has got a constant moving glitch where you can tell by the sound effects this thing keeps spinning. Either it's this door, or this door. But most bets, it's probably this glitching out and wanting to spin. But if we press, uh, well, six, which is obviously the pistons, which will raise the thing, but we'll do it after we will uh, open the doors. So I'll actually just pre move it. So this opens. I've got my spectator camera. Run. So here we have ourselves a dual piston. So this goes up quicker to get it up. And then this does it to get the final angle, which is swing it down. And maybe wondering why is there a door gap here? Well, to be fair, smaller rocks, because the ejectors only fire out smaller rocks. Generally don't use the door, but the door 
does get used in its clean overflow system, but sadly because of when the door opens, it falls through and gets a little stuck. So then, so you may be asking, how does the rocks get into this contraption? I'm going to press 6 again. I believe 7, uh, seven is a rotor lock. So I could ro lock that road for safety. And nine is the feeding from the for the ejector. I will turn that off for now. And eight is the back door. So the back door opens, but sadly, because there's a gap there, because the rocks don't like being patient when that opens. And it's a bit slow. But anyway, that's that. You may be wondering what else this other road was talking about the front door. So I have the engine, the beast inside, the the it's taking forgot <laughs> the reactors in the inner system so really this could be a quite functional thing in defense survival it's all plumbed in i even got the jump start reactor and the storage and it probably could have a survival kit bolted on somewhere but it's pretty good so maybe wondering how this works so we have the sorter that feeds into this and then the connectors are all connected up to here the reactors pulled up so this is meant to pull out ore it's got a whitelist so when a connector, we fill up the cargo containers, it'll plumb all that, push it into what's above here, go to the side. I believe this side is technically just for looks, but I did put a crossbar pipe to, well, make it functional. Also, I didn't, also didn't build this without realising this was here, but ayo, just batteries. So there we go, that should then, that will close, and that will then come through all these projectors and roll down. And get probably get stuck here. So, should we have a little go? I definitely might do a video on it again. I don't know. I, just, I would just found it in the shift tab menu. Now, what should we use? Uh, stones? Maybe we will use standard old stones. Uh, uh, that'll do. Th that's 100k worth of stone, so let me double check the uh, feeding system is not on. Yes, it's not. It's, it's off. Oh, dear me, I'm getting stuck. I'm too excited. I'm too excited. All right, now we go to our systems. Go to cargo. We can fill this up with enough cargo because it takes forever because small ejectors. Nah. Uh, sh shift tab. Uh, just a thousand stone for this. A thousand stone. Car. Last car container. Put a thousand in. So you've got a pretty full dump truck, which I'll take a quick spin to show you how it feels like with a cargo inside. Slow, but it's still a better moving vehicle. I'm quite surprised to be fair of how good this came out. Probably usable in survival. That thing, I'll question if it moves, but ayo. You build that like. So we have this contraption here, which is lovely. So if I hop in, get my lovely spectator camera. And, uh, well, press tab. Hit F9. And uh, press uh, 9. And the system should start pumping out the stone! Huzzah! And all the rocks go tumbling back down to where they belong. Dun, oh, it's it's a bit slow. It sort of feeds through crates and they all build up. As you can see, these stones are very small. And as soon as this door even moves a tad, they will fall around the gap. And I put this here, so when you open the door, you do it at the last second. And the overflow of all these spur rocks shall, uh, well, go through. I'll let this go in because this will take goddamn forever. Because it isn't amazing. So let me do a little bit of a tour of this. So this is my ground mauler. It mauls ground. And my dump truck's over there. So, this. So, same idea. Well, why do you want to do it normally? Even though I couldn't be bothered with too many, uh, magical droppy stuff, but I did use connectors because, you know, there is a reasonable way of doing it. Oh, bit, bit of lag spike. Ooh, must not, the rocks must have done some collisions. So I'll run up here. 
light anti lag protection. Uh, pipes or pipes like this, no, no real connector pipes. Battery school, all this thing meant to be a mobile base. If I could be bothered, I would fit a refinery and assembler systems in here, but she isn't very efficient power. As the sounds will give you the hint, and nice little window area. This is extended so the sound gets mauled. Well, not mauled, but so we're gonna. Move her forward a tad, she's very slow. Like I said, probably all you're useful in an ice lake to go back and backwards and forwards. I think that should be just a tad once grips gets going. I tell you, parking brake's pretty good, right? That should do. So once we're near Oh yep. I hate this sound. Oh. Like I said, very here, it's quite simple, it's just the interior, nothing too spectacular. Takes a lot of resources though. I've did a lot of uh, unnecessary walkways, but you know, the engines probably could be ripped out. <laughs> but I thought I wanted it to sound manly. It's also got hydrogen storage, so I think there's also oxygen generators in there because of the engines. Maybe this might be some. Probably is. I can check that now. Where if there's a button. Ox. Oxygen. Hydrogen. Yep. Yeah, there's no oxygen tanks or. But there is hydrogen, so I don't know if it uses fuel, but I think it does, or it just fuels up by who knows. That should be O2, wouldn't it? It's not oxygen anymore. It'd be O2. Yep. No mind. It, I have got o oxygen and hydrogen and generators. They're just called O2. Since leg spikes are taking a minute, we're gonna check out our little dump truck friend over here to see if he's done, because the. Oh, you're a very laggy friend today. Let's quickly check the systems and see how much it is. That is a perfect little. You can do more, but you see, lag is always lag. You know what? You, you, you've doomed pretty. Oh, God, I'll just press. Oh, I've just tapped out. There we go. Back. Right. Let's hit 9 off. We don't want any more systems bumping through. Give it a second. It stopped rolling. So, a bit of a drive round. I, I think being on the grid's creating a little bit of lag, but we can drive round. Lag is the worst part of it, but to be fair, it isn't horrendous. It is driving. It is nice and slow. It is cool. And we can then put your parking brake on. Hold all the rocks rolls forwards away from your blooming door. Obviously, it rolls back again. Start hitting eight, then you hit six to allow. Ooh, ooh, move the camera in time. Forgot about the camera. So let this slowly happen. So all these go down. So if you're lucky in time, right? No rocks fall down this gap, but they glitch down and they just fall out. There is a reason for a shield. So I would probably open the door before you can. But as you see, they all fall out, and then the overflow system. But then finally, come off of it, and FUD. That is my dump truck. And I am just for sakes of lag, because I'm... No, it's not that. It'll be F10. Oh, Alt F10. Admin tools. We can give it a nice light entity list. Grids, I don't know. Okay, oh, that's a uh, previous test. That's okay. That's uh, oh, we got in space. That's so I attached this to the end of my uh, drilling thing, we'll see, and it went flying. Uh, that's that, and just top it here just for sakes. And let me see. This happens when you do a lot of teleporting around Jim's Magic Land. Also, 10 to go to floating objects, so I'll do that and remove. To prevent all lag situations. Now to the lag! <laughs> Joking. So, I didn't show you the rest of this because I was checking the dump truck because of the lag spike. So basically, this system flows in through here. Bunch of sorters pumping stuff out. These will eject the rock into that. So this should, in theory, once spun around, should always drop it into the, what's it called? Oh, 
Collectors, there we go. Um, same here. This meant to be angled, but this can overflow and spill over, to be fair. Not done serious damage, just a bit of small rolling. But, you know, you have to keep this going at all times. And in here we have the magical controls of the... So, I have to remember myself. So, six is the turning, so we can... This thing all works in gyroscopes. And some rotors, and I just bash the drills. Oh, I ain't qualified for this machine. So this machine, if you had a jetpack, you can always run out and uh, I had something to do some hurdles. Ooh. Ah. Hurdle. Woo. Okay. So this thing works on this spins a weld, a weld, a welder, which will weld the drills. Damage wise, uh, it was this one, wasn't it? Uh, so drill. This is the upgraded version of the drill. It used to be a bigger head, but. They used to, well, it used to get sideswiped. To be fair, I think it took no real damage there. I think it just dented the ground because drills. Yo, right. Nice big chunk. Right. We'll head back to our little fabulous machine. To be fair, I think the problem is this thing is only going to be, this thing generally needs an upgrade of its base systems. I think it's just too big, but you know. So six does that, unlocks that, so six, we can turn. Seven is the drill head. Eight is the sorter, and nine is our up and down motion. So if we go, ooh, that's F8, we want F8. We go over towards our drills, and we press, uh, press F9, press five, press back up to F8. The drills start spinning, and you get the general idea of how this is going to work. We generally lock the height because the height always goes down once nice and slowly because of how heavy it is and generally does that. The welders should always be on like they are. So any real damages it should weld. Well mainly to that bit but the design can always be improved. I'm having problems with it is of how it exactly functions but you know. So we can start going to the side here. Pesky uh, mistake. Oh took a bit of a clunk. So we press F9, raise the drilling rig, we can lock it, move our camera, press tab, press F9, press 9, and slowly let it come down, gear a bit of a, well you can use arrow keys as well as mouse with a bit of gyro, slow down for collision, and we can just let it spin. So what would happen is the stone comes down the pipe systems. If it isn't killing, there we go. We got drop through, and we got oh dear me, drop through. There you go. That's the entire system. How how it works. So you know, we can uh, well if we can right into the super before Jim. Oh, I press B. Lift it up a tad. I didn't lock it. That's why. Silly me. So it's. It's quite resilient as it is. I might want to press tab again just to make sure. Yep. Hard to tell. This thing wobbles a bit. So as you see, we're gonna, we can, no, not until I'm playing up because it's moving the vehicle. We have a bunch of drills spinning around. Go dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. And as I said, it will go through and into all the cargo containers. I'll show you some piping. Hops in, a, f uh, a facility mass connector here, this is the most likely spot probably these connectors, but, and the engine, Jesus Christ. Um, it's rendering all the voxel damage. So we can press 9 again, let it go down. Give drills a time to bite as it's clawing its way through the rock. Absolutely clawing, giving it all it's got. Yet again, this works on another dual rotor system, and, I st and I've had the problems I can't remove this merge block. And I'll probably give a small tutorial on how to this works. Uh, it's probably going to be coming a more fashionable thing in Space Engineers, as it's a uh, less problematic as it used to be. So I can go from this angle, which is a nice angle to see through the planet, and press F9, and give a little lovely, lovely uh, drill. So can let it fall, it can take big chunks out, however I do believe these big chunks are more or less its collisions. And I should say the welds may be coming in action. 
if they were probably a block closer, which I think is a design flaw of this, but to be fair, I'm fairly sure the well has normally got welded up itself, it didn't repair too much, but like I said, this is me, this is the retrofitted version, the other version had a bigger head drill and it used to keep breaking itself. It, it, the side drills were basically worthless and it, it was too big. Too big to be realistic without having a bunch of rotors attached to the rotor which was attached to the rotor. So you, you get what I mean. The smaller version needs to, like I said, I think I'll take the entire frame of this upwards and tweak it from there for my next version of this. But this is just a standard first version with a bit of tweaking. So it generally would work in survival situation and would get results. We shall dig down. Now I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna go F6. I'm physically going to get out. Oop, a bit of lag from hopping out. So as you can see, when it gets a bit stuck, hopefully minus the uh, smaller blade design, it should slowly but surely dig its way out. And be collecting as much as it can. To be fair, this is where the problem lies with this drill. This one drill it gets stuck in the teething issues and also the sides being clunked and the barrel being too wide but can't make it any thinner without doing some technical problems. So it is, it is all a drilling style of how you drill so you can go side to side actions and it is generally a lot of mining to be done but it is a safer way of mining. And an easier one. I'm probably cheaper on uh, energy because uh, if I go back to this, minus like 10,000 engines, if like we like we per se. So five days it's saying. So if I remove the hydro, oh, caps lock's on. Oh, caps lock's tab. Caps lock. Oh, hydro. Oh, and type in hydro. T turn all these off. We not much change. This thing doesn't really use engines. These engines were there for the sound effect, and I realised how bad they were and deafened. So you know, the engines aren't necessary. It's a lot more quieter, less painful, and the machine keeps clawing. So this, you can basically just have it running. Like I said, it's got more power for the year idea of having refineries bolted on to be a mobile base of just absolute hell of refining every single thing in the world just digging up since the uh, rock now produces a few basic items of silicon iron and nickel anything else I'm missing any no definitely I am to the fact so uh, you'll get resources from basic rock you can basically dig up worthless chunks of the planet like an ice lake which is not really useful it's a very odd shape not useful for anything doesn't really look good you can send one of these out and just dig away at the sides and lake and to be fair, you might have to have all the oxygen generators for the uh, ice, but it will mine efficiently for fairly little power. You're still running the drills, where you don't really have to move much. And I'm just going to check on the lower part, and I think this has gone down as can. But still, it's still with the outer drills. Let's again. Oh. Some resources, not much. Still chucking them in. And since I got experimental on pretty much all my worlds, I get weird stuff. And organic is one of them. I think that's gonna be a new feature, so I might like I said I might do a video on that before. What is it? And here we go, the drills. Absolutely clawing the way around. I mean absolutely glowing and uh, well as all to say I would uh, have to admit I hope you all enjoy I don't want this video to be a pain in the ass to upload but you know I think it's probably a good idea to uh, per se For the uh, lovely thumbnail, because I think uh, doing anything in Photoshop is not worth it, because I want to quickly record the uh, Gannet thing before I forget. 
to be the first person to announce the organic is a possibly new feature for space engineers. So, yes. So, I'm gonna quickly... Have that running. So is it F12? Yes, it is. Screenshot saved. So I hope you all guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want to, uh, well, I can probably do some stuff for Discord. So if you want to ask some questions, general, what's this do? What's this? Woo woo! Let's get as he rendered, of course. Space engineers. You always call me full surprise. Hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you want more content. Check out the old content if you will. Quality may be different. This is a recording and hopefully isn't. It's, l it's a little better. Looks a bit chuggy still, but I think this will do. Hope you all enjoyed. It. See you in the next one. My name's been Jim. Goodbye! Ha <laughs> ha! Now this is the new stop button.